Hey guys, it's Nicole here. I'm back for another shoe unboxing video. So let's just get right into it and let's pull the tab for sport. Immediately we are met with an upside down box again. And let's just set this aside. And here we go. So this is kind of similar to another box I've had for another pair of shoes. I think my Furiosas were the same type of box. And um, surprise, this isn't a shoe, it's actually a sandal. So I thought that it'd be cool to unbox a sandal because we are in the springtime and I thought it'd be different to see how Nike's sandals do. So the sandals are actually the uh, women's Nike Icon Classic sandal. I got them in a size seven. So let's just open it up and see what it looks like. Okay, so very simple tissue paper. And this is what the box looks like, the inside. So I'm kind of worried. I was worried when I was gonna when I was buying this that um, these were gonna be like cheap looking. So let's just kind of see what they look like. So the platform is like actually quite high. I didn't think it was gonna be this high but um they are pretty high it kind of has a slight smell i'm not gonna lie i don't know what that is but kind of a i don't know really rubbery smell to it actually i've never had any of the shoes i've unboxed have this smell yet um but yeah these are the shoes i'm gonna take the tissue paper out of them quick guys And I was immediately drawn to these because they kind of remind me of the 90s and they have like this really cool platform design and I kind of wanted to get a pair of sandals that had a sporty vibe to it and these do just that. This actually still has a tag on here. So these are in the black, white, black and I just want to kind of show you up close. So. Here's like the little Nike loop at the back. And then there's like four different Velcro straps, like, you know, adjustable straps. And then on the side kind of has the loopy design here. It's kind of like the see-through uh, sole. Well, actually I'm just noticing something here too. Oh, dang. There's a bit of glue actually on the strap. I've never seen something like this from Nike. So is that kind of a little mess up on their part? I'm not usually picky about things like that, but that kind of sucks. Yeah, I like how on these straps, it's kind of like a more of a muted Nike logo. And then up top, it's just very graphic and little, and then a little bit on the top here. And so, yeah, I just really like the style of these and I'm wondering how comfortable they're going to be. So I just wanted to kind of run through the specs while I try them on for you guys. So I'm gonna do a try on of them and you'll hear me kind of voice over of all the details. So first we got the, it's lifted, classic hoops detailing, strappy but easy to wear. They tick all the boxes in the Nike Icon Classic. It's big, bold midsole, wows with comfort. The outsole pattern delivers iconic Air Force One vibes, while the multiple hook and loop straps add a fearless look. Get ready to shine with this new voice and sandal style. So the benefits are lifted midsole delivers the look you love with the comfort you expect. Strappy upper features, easy to adjust hook and loop closures that bring an innovative, fresh and fun look straight out of the box. Classic Air Force One detailing on the outsole delivers heritage style traction and durability. There's a foam footbed, adds to the comfort. And the style shown is a black, white, white. So I just wanted to do kind of a final check around the shoe to see if there's glue issues like on the one shoe I have here but it, it looks like it's only on this one shoe. I wonder if I could just kind of peel it, peel it off, maybe the strap. It looks like I might be able to peel it off. See, I'm just gonna show you the little glue spot here. That kind of really sucks, hey guys. 
but it is really pretty lightweight but not too lightweight where you think that you're gonna like fumble while wearing these so i'm just gonna try these on and give you my first impressions tell you what they feel like and the ease of putting them on each time i guess So something I'm noticing right away is I kind of have to line this up and it's not necessarily super, like I thought that I'd be able to tighten these all the way for some reason, but it's because my foot is thin, as you can see, like my, some of my foot is quite, um, it's thin. So this is like a lot of loose straps on this area of the shoe and so that's just something to keep in mind if you have a small foot but um, I mean if you have a thicker foot this would probably be a good thing so I'm just gonna put the other shoe on I'll be right back in a sec I'm hoping that the um, strap being loose like that on my foot isn't gonna be a huge issue okay weird okay on this foot what is going on here nike okay so on this foot for some reason i'm not able to oh my god if you guys can see this the difference of the two straps so this strap is all the way over on the velcro and then this strap has like a space right here so that i can't even tighten it anymore so it's like, it's like both of these are different, unless my feet are different, but I really don't think that they are. But here, I'm gonna show you guys from this way. Okay guys, see how on this one foot, like I showed you, this is a bit looser on this side. Everything matches up on the side. And then we move to this foot. And the Velcro is sticking out on this side on each of the straps so they don't line up like the other foot. So I find that like super odd that one foot is tight and the one foot is loose. I feel like this one is a size eight and this one is a size seven because you can even see, or maybe this one is a size maybe because this is my size, size seven is my size. I normally wouldn't have this sticking out like this. Something is going on with these shoes, hold on. Yeah, there is something definitely going on. These are two different um, sandal sizes. This is either like a size um, seven or an eight. And then this one must be like a size six or something. Because yeah, like as you can see, like my skin is like poofing out and it's just like tight and they won't go on how they're supposed to line up. This does not feel good. It feels super tight. This is actually might be my first Nike purchase that I might have to um, send these back, you guys. Well, you guys, I am super disappointed, but I'm going to have to return these sandals. So yeah, they, like I said, they are, they must be two different sizes because like I showed you, they just don't fit the same on each foot. And my, I've never had this problem with any shoes or sandals I've ever bought in my life. So I don't think it's my foot problem. So that is disappointing. And also the disappointing thing is the sandal that is too small for me also has that issue on the, um, on the side here with the glue sticking up on the strap here. And for the amount that you're paying for these, like in my opinion, that should not be happening. So this has gotta be my first return to Nike. So sorry, Nike. I just, I'm, I still am in love with the design. It is super cute. And I was already thinking up a bunch of different outfits I was gonna wear with these for the spring and the summer. And I'm just not so sure about them. I don't know if I should take a chance on just doing a return and just keep trying to see if they can send me 
um, a different size or what, or see what, what's wrong with why they're these two different sizes. I'm not sure. Actually, no, I'm gonna, I forgot. I didn't look on the inside. So this says, yeah, this says size seven. Let's check this small one. No, it's saying it's a size seven. So I don't know. They're saying that they're size seven, but there's something wrong with this. I don't know, guys. I'm just perplexed and I'm so sorry because I, I do not like to give out negative reviews. I want to have a positive time and I want to like recommend shoes to you guys, but this is just not one of them. I just have to be honest and tell you guys what I'm going through within, with the unboxing. Um, it's just unfortunate. And who likes to go? This is the thing. This is one of my pet peeves about online shopping is I do not like doing returns. I think it's like inconvenient having to go to the post office and do returns and do the, their forms. And I, I'm just, I just hate doing that type of thing. So yeah, the uh, Nike Icon Classics, I guess, are a no from me. Oh guys, it sucks. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm gonna try to do another shoe review that hopefully will be more fun and positive. And yeah, so I'm just gonna have to end the video and I'm not even gonna take these, you know, typ typically in my video, I will take these outside and I'll kind of show you um, what they look like when you're walking with them. But um, I'm not gonna do that because I wanna keep these in pristine condition. Don't get any dirt or rocks on them because I do wanna do a return on them so i'm so sorry everyone um yes so i'm just gonna wrap up the video now and just say bye guys and um i don't know maybe rewatch some of my older unboxing videos until i get a new until i purchase some new shoes and do another unboxing video for you guys um yeah so Thanks as always for tuning in. Thank you so much for your support. You guys have watched so many um, unboxing video. I have so many views on my shoe unboxing videos. I'm so grateful to you guys. Um, yeah, so until next time. Oh well, yeah, make sure to subscribe. Uh, turn on the notification bell so you do not miss out another video. Like this video and comment down below your guys' thoughts on these Icon Classics. If you guys have had any troubles with these guys, or what sandals you want to maybe try. There's some more sandals on the website that um, I did have some interest in. So I might try those and maybe we'll do an unboxing video for those on my channel. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time and see you later.